I just remember from being a kid, that's all we knew was a vineyard. You worked here every day and uh, it was a lot of work and at the time it was really hard to sell the grapes. It was just something you did to try and make a living. I could see that listening to that generation, they worked at anything that came to town. They all, they all worked. I don't remember the challenge. You just keep your head to the grindstone and keep going. The really cool, awesome thing about the Ducey family is that you will see five generations of family members working in the vineyard, all working extremely hard. And that always struck me as something being extremely unique. When I was dating him, I would ride around on the tractor with him. I mean, I was a city girl and I didn't know a tractor from a car. She'd make her own stew. Sometimes she'd make it out of beef or uh, quail or whatever birds that she'd have a shoot. She, <laughs> she'd pluck them and, uh, and make stew out of it. I remember the one time we took the kids down there and they had a, a pet chicken and they took it with them for some reason. And uh, she saw it and she popped his neck and <laughs> it was lunch. The kids were just staring there wide-eyed. <laughs> Grandma Ducey, she'd drink a little wine and then we'd all tease her because her nose would get red. So my dad would be on the corn chopper, my mom would be driving the 10-wheel truck uh, with me in the seat, the little jump seat, and that was all day. There's not a lot of families that wanted to stay in agriculture. Guido would say, this land is going to amount to nothing because he was so tired and they worked all the time. And, and, and we would always say, oh, if they could just see now what happened. I think it's really unique growing up um, on a 100-acre parcel of property or a vineyard of Zinfandel, and three generations live on that property the whole time. Mm -hmm.